Welcome back everyone, and Intel Rocket Lake CPU rumors are starting to pick up some heat since the company officially announced the lineup last week. Now Intel stated that its 11th generation core desktop processor family, codenamed Rocket Lake, will be arriving in the first quarter of 2021 with PCIe Gen 4 support. No other details were mentioned, but while we wait for those to arrive around CES of 21, rumors from the tech inside such as IT Cooker and Mibu W Mi BOW gave us a glimpse of what to expect from Intel's first major architectural upgrade on the mainstream desktop since Skylake. Both sources have posted reliable information in the past, and IT Cooker was one of the first leakers to get his hands on AMD's Ryzen 4000G processors and provide details in the form of specifications and even raw benchmarks of the said processor. This time, IT Cooker is providing details for Intel's 11th generation Rocket Lake CPUs. Now, the latest details also come from a few days after IT Cooker posted a screenshot of a setup running Rocket Lake engineering samples and demonstrating its PCIe 4.0 capabilities on a Z490 motherboard. Now here's a quick list and look at the rumors that IT Cooker has mentioned and then we'll dig into the details. So supports PCIe Gen 4 protocol, AVX 512 can achieve greater performance, which it runs even really hot even under 8 cores and leads to higher power consumption, something to keep in mind. Both L1 cache and L2 cache sizes have increased. 10th generation core L1 is 32 kilobytes with L2 of 256 kilobytes, while 11th generation L1 core is 48 kilobytes and L2 is double to 512 kilobytes. Architecture has improved gaming performance and it has a lot stronger than 10th generation, but still a long way from what AMD is doing in Cinebench R20 and R15 multi-threaded because, well, it's only in 8 cores while AMD goes all the way up to 16. Now it is a very easy to run and overclocked all cores at 5 gigahertz and drop in compatibility with Z490 motherboards with PCIe 4.0 support on boards that have the necessary hardware integration. Now Z490 VRMs should be sufficient to overclock the 11th generation. Now the leaker once again reiterates that Intel's Rocket Lake CPU will fully support the PCIe Gen 4 protocol, which is something that AMD has been offering since its X570 with Ryzen 3rd Gen platform since late 2019. Now according to the leaker, while the 11th generation Rocket Lake lineup is based on the 14 nanometer process node still, there are major architectural upgrades, and the biggest so far that we've seen since Skylake back in 2015. It's definitely dude, guys. The architecture is specifically tuned for gaming and will give Intel a bigger win in games versus regular workloads. The user states that the multi-core performance crown will still be held by AMD, even given its faster SMT architecture in addition to more cores per tier, while the Intel Generation 11 lineup is going to max out at 8 cores and 16 threads. Now some of the changes as mentioned before with Cypress Cove architecture, which is Sunny Cove with a little DNA of Willow Cove ported to tip from 10 nanometer to 14 nanometer. The CPU is set to feature 48 kilobytes of L1, which is over 50% more over Skylake and 512 kilobytes of L2 cache, which is double what Skylake had. An interesting point is that the AVX 512 performance has seen a big upgrade in Rocket Lake CPUs and Intel might release performance benchmarks tuned around AVX 512 workloads where they'll give AMD a big beating. However, while AVX 512 nets higher performance, it also causes the CPU to run hotter and consume more power, which would require high-end power delivery on existing motherboards to support it. Now, with that said, the existing Z490 motherboards should be sufficient enough to offer support for 11th generation CPUs, while next generation 500 series motherboards would offer even better compatibility. As far as overclocking is said, the 11th generation Intel Rocket Lake CPU lineup is expected to offer clocks over 5 GHz on all cores, while the blue team is expected to push boost clocks even further. Now, Meebwow says that the Rocket Lake Core i9 chips can turbo up to 5.4 to 5.5 GHz. ES2 is 5.3 GHz so far, which would put at least a 200 MHz clock higher than existing Core i9-10900K with 10 cores. It's also reported that the Core i9 and Core i7 SKUs will share the same core count of 8 cores and 16 threads, but we can expect lower frequencies on the Core i7 SKU. Intel will also most likely retain the 6 core 12 thread over on this Core i5 SKUs. Pricing wise, the i7 Rocket Lake SKU is said to cost less than $400 US, which would put it in a very competitive spot against the Ryzen 
7 5800X, which is an 8 core 16 thread SKU. It's going to retail for a slightly higher price of $449. Now, the Core i5 Rocket Lake SKU will retail around $250 to $300, or slightly lower than that of the Ryzen 5 5600X. However, AMD also has the Ryzen 5 5600 being prepped for a 2021 launch, so that might be the real contender against the i5 11600K. Oh, those numbers are getting really screwy these days. One of the key changes made over the 500 series platforms would be the addition of memory overclocking on the B560 series motherboards, which would offer decent value over competing B550 parts. Maybe. We'll see. Those are definitely going to be interesting. Again, these are all rumors for now and come from a source that has been pretty accurate in the past. With the launch of Rocket Lake set for Q1 2021, we can expect more info in the coming months. So stay tuned here. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.